Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining today's webinar. Um, I will be talking about um, taking the rail with Amtrak vacations, the alternative to flying today. I am your host, Renee DiFlippo. I am a senior vacations consultant here at Amtrak Vacations and have been with the company for over two years. And I'm really excited to share some great information with all of you. Now, before we get started, don't forget to go to the panel and download your handout. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the question box. And at the end of the presentation, I'll try my best to answer all of them. So this is a very important tool when trying to plan a vacation with us. This is the Amtrak Vacation System Map. So wherever you see the, the dark um, blue, black circles is where we have our vacation packages. So that's all the cities and towns with our hotels and tours. And all the colorful lines are our Amtrak routes. So Amtrak runs 46 out of the 48 continental states with the exception of South Dakota and Wyoming. We also cross the border into Canada, um, and we do have our um, packages up there. Now, what makes Amtrak Vacations different? First off, it's a bucket less experience. Um, it's definitely something fun, different, and unique. It's definitely different than driving or taking a plane. You'll get to see the countryside just by sitting in your seat. Also, the flexibility of our company, most of our trips run daily, and we can customize any trip that you have in mind. And it is hassle-free, so instead of trying to do it on your own, um, you give us a call, and we'll do everything for you, set it up for you. Any issues on your trip, you give us a call, and we would help you every step along the way. And we are also Amtrak's tour provider. So we use Amtrak trains to bring you to your locations, to your uh, vacations. We also have city to city service. There's, there's over 500 different Amtrak stations throughout the country. So we can find the closest Amtrak station to you and we can get you anywhere. So city to city to downtown to downtown. Also, there's something for everyone. We definitely have some multi-generational vacation packages. Uh, so we have everything from the young children to the adults, to the grandparents. So whatever you're looking for, I'm sure we can make something happen for you. Now we can customize all rail vacations from your hometown. So just because you don't see a round trip vacation on our website doesn't mean we don't offer it. Just give us a call or your tra local travel agent, and we can definitely set something up for you. Um, even if you don't have a station by you, we can find out the closest one. So not what does customize mean? Like I said, we can customize any package for you. So just about everything we offer can be tailor-made. We could put together packages, uh, different vacation packages that you wanna travel. For example, take our rails to the Grand Canyon package, so that's starts in LA and it's an overnight train to Williams and a, the train up to the South Rim with two nights there at a hotel. After that, you'll take the train back to Los Angeles. So say if you want to add an additional night or two additional nights and change the hotel to the famous El Tavar, we can definitely do that for you. Also, since you're already in LA, if you decided that you wanted to stay a little bit there and send, spend a few nights at a hotel with a tour, we can add that on for you. So it's basically an example of what customize means. If the amount of nights you want to stay, combine different packages, literally whatever you want to do, we can make happen for you. The best part of traveling by train is just seeing what the country has to offer. You'll be seeing big cities, deserts, mountains, prairies, oceans, swamplands. Everything the United States has, you can see just by the seat of your train. So it's just a different experience than flying. I mean, you, because if you're flying, you just look out the window, you see clouds, it's a you know, little space, it's not really enjoyable. Um, it's definitely uh, something, like I said, unique to experience, just seeing, seeing the country from the seat of the train. So now we can hop right into some itineraries that we have at Ham Amtrak Vacations. And these are one of the, some of the most popular ones that we, we sell daily. 
The first one we have to offer here is a Glacier National Park Express package. So for all these packages that I'm going to go over with you today, whatever numbers in that little dark circle is how many nights at a hotel in that city. And the, the number on in the red triangle is the number of nights on the train. So for the Glacier National Park Express package, you will be spending two nights in Chicago and taking one overnight train on the Empire Builder to Glacier National Park. There, spending three nights at the Glacier National Park. Spending one night on the train over to Seattle with two nights there in Seattle. And again, we can customize this from your hometown. So if you want to take the train to Chicago, we can make that happen. Or if you want to take the train home from Seattle, we can make that happen. In Chicago, you will have a sightseeing architectural cruise of the city. In Glacier National Park, you'll have the Big Sky Circle Tour. That's one of our most popular tours there at that park. You'll see viewing wildlife at the Goat Lick. Uh, you'll see the Grand Cedar and Hemlock Forest. You'll have lake at um, sorry you'll have lunch at Lake McDonald Lodge, and you, you you'll be able to go to the Sun Road at Logan's Pass and St Mary's Valley. So this is my coworker Ashley. She went on this trip a couple years ago, and you could see those great pictures that she was able to take with that big sky circle tour. And that picture with the big red bus is what you will be on. It's called the Big Red Jammer Bus, so something different and unique rather than just a motor coach tour. In Seattle, you have a sightseeing tour of the city, so that tour will bring you to those most famous locations in Seattle, like the Space Needle, uh, Pioneer Square, Pike's Place Market, um, many more. You'll also have admission to the Space Needle and the Chihuly Garden Glass Combo. So that's a Glacier National Park Express. So it's seven nights at a hotel and two nights of onboard Amtrak, 10 days all together. So this is uh, our most popular package, well, one of our most popular packages that we sell at Amtrak Vacations. This is a Grand National Park with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon. So this package, you'll be able to see three national parks. This package starts in Chicago, and you'll take an overnight train on the California Zephyr to Salt Lake City, spending one night there right when you get in. And you'll take a uh, shuttle up to West Yellowstone. You'll be spending two nights in West Yellowstone before taking the shuttle back down, hopping back on the train and overnight there to San Francisco. Spending two nights there in San Francisco with the Yosemite National Park tour included. You'll take that Coast Star Line train a day trip out down to Los Angeles and you'll spend one night there. After that, you'll take the train over to Williams, Arizona, where you'll, you will board the Grand Canyon Railway train and to spend one night up there at the Maswick Lodge. You'll take that train back down to Williams the day after before taking the train back to Chicago or your hometown. So including this package, when you get to Salt Lake City, one dinner will be included at the Roof Restaurant. Uh, the Roof Restaurant is located on the top floor of the Joseph Smith Memorial Building. I was actually in Salt Lake City last month and was able to experience this. It's a five-star dining uh, buffet. They literally have everything you can imagine from salads to soups to antipastos, uh, fish, meat, chicken, um, dessert. The food was phenomenal, as well as you get to see the beautiful mountains while up there on the top floor of that Joseph Smith Memorial Building. It's definitely a great dining experience. You also will take the Yellowstone Lower Loop Tour of Yellowstone National Park. I also was in Yellowstone last week, last month. I mean, to take this tour, and this is one of the best tours I've ever taken. So 
that tour guide will pick you up in the morning from your hotel and it was an all-day tour um, and you'll see the best of Yellowstone so you'll see the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, Old Faithful, the Grand Prasmatic Springs, uh, Mud Pods. You'll also see tons of different animals. I was able to see bison and elk. Um, I wasn't able to see some bears and wolves but other uh, employees that did this trip with uh, in the past have so definitely uh, Depending on when you go, you could see tons of different things. Um, let's see. In this package, you'll also go to the Grand Canyon National Park, and you'll take the round trip services uh, from Williams up to the South Rim. And when you get up there, you have the Motor Coach Freedom Room Tour. So that's the Grand National Parks with Yellowstone, Yosemite, and the Grand Canyon. So again, you'll be seeing three different national parks on this trip. It's four nights on board Amtrak and eight nights at a hotel. The next package I'm going to be talking about is the Pacific Northwest. So this package is also very popular because you will be taking that Coast Starlight train that's very scenic, that hugs that coast. Here you'll be spending two nights in San Francisco, taking an overnight train up to Portland. We will spend two nights there in Portland. You then will take a day trip up to Seattle, where you'll be spending two nights there in Seattle. And again, don't forget we can customize this any way you want. Uh, so if you want to take the train to San Francisco or take the train back home from Seattle, we definitely could add that in for you. So included in this package, um, in San Francisco, you'll have the Pier 39 Attraction Pass. So that Attraction Pass is um, definitely highlights San Francisco. So you have the Hop On Hop Off Pass, uh, which is a guided tour around the city. But you can hop on and hop off as you please. So it's basically your form of transportation uh, without taking a taxi or an Uber or anything like that. You'll also have some admissions with that pass. So for uh, uh, for example, like the aquarium or a bay cruise. You also have a sightseeing tour of the Muir Woods in Sausalito. So you'll be able to wander through the coastal redwood forest. You'll see those big redwood trees and you have some time at the Bayside city of Sausalito. While in Portland, you'll have the hop on hop off tour there and a dinner cruise. And in Seattle, you will have that guided city tour of Seattle with the Space Needle admission and the Chihuly Garden Glass Combo admission. So that is the Pacific Northwest, six nights at a, the hotel, uh, one overnight on the train, and that's eight days all together. So the next package I'm going to be talking about is the Grand National Park Discovery on the California Zephyr. So it might look a little confusing here if you're looking at that map, um, but this is a newer package we have to offer, uh, but it's very popular because it does include eight national parks. So one trip, you'll be able to cross off eight parks. So this package does start in Denver. Again, you can, we can customize that for you and take you from your hometown over there. So here you'll be spending two nights in Denver you have a motor coach tour of the Rocky Mountain National Park. You then will take the train over to Grand Junction. You'll spend one night there. The next day, um, a luxury SUV with a private tour guide will pick you and whoever else is in your party up and drive you to different parks. So this is a little different than we usually do. Um, it's not open to the public that tour. So literally it's just you and whoever you are on that trip with. And they pick you up in a nice car and they'll drive you to the Arches and Canyonlands National Park. And what's cool about this is if you want to spend more time in the Arches and the Canyonlands or vice versa, you have the authority to do that because it's your trip. So after that, you'll spend one night in Springdale, Utah. The same tour guide will pick you up the next day in the same car and bring you to Bryce Canyon in the Capitol Reef National Park. After that, you'll spend one more night in Springdale before going to the Zion National Park. After that, you'll spend one more night in Grand Junction 
take the train over to Salt Lake City after and do that Yellowstone National Park getaway. Then you'll hop on board an overnight train on the California Zephyr to San Francisco where the trip will end after two nights there with a sightseeing tour of Yosemite National Park. So there you'll have the motor coach tour and you'll see the highlights there of the Rocky Mountain National Park. You will go to Zion National Park. So Zion National Park is one of the most popular parks of the United States. I mean, it's the most requested park by our customers. So we're very happy that we're able to get this park because it's fairly new. You'll also see Bryce Canyon National Park. So here you'll see the incredible formations of the hoodoos, the natural rock structures, and some highlights do, do, does include the fairy, uh, fairy land point, sunset and sunrise point, and inspiration point. So that's the Grand National Park Discovery on the California Zephyr. So that's 13 days altogether, 11 nights hotel, and that is eight national parks. So definitely a once in a lifetime experience there. If you're looking to focus more on the train experience itself rather than destinations, cities, or national parks, then rail experiences are for you. We have a few of them out there. You can take a look at our website if you like those rail experiences or give us a call. Uh, but one of the most popular ones that I'm going to talk about is the Grand Rail Experience. So for this package, it does start in Chicago because most of our packages do start in Chicago since that's a hub of Amtrak. So it starts in Chicago and you'll take two nights on the Empire Builder over to Seattle. Spend two nights there at a hotel before taking the Coast Starlight down the coast, that's one overnight, over to Los Angeles. Spending one night there in LA before boarding the train and taking a two nights trip over to New Orleans. Spending two nights there, taking another overnight train over to Washington DC. Spending one night there before taking the train back to Chicago. So this trip also does get customized a lot. So say if you live in the Washington DC area and you wanna take this trip around trip from Washington DC, we can do that for you. Or if you want to start this, like say in uh, San Francisco, we can do that for you as well. So again, we can customize this. It just This is the base point and from there, it's endless amount of what we can do. So there in Seattle, you'll have that hop on, hop off of the city, bringing you those, those famous locations like the Space Needle, Pike's Place, You'll also go to have a sightseeing tour of the hop on hop off of Los Angeles. It'll bring you to Venice Beach, Santa Monica Pier, Hollywood Boulevard, Rodeo Drive. Um, so in Washington DC, this is one of my most favorite um, tours to sell. It's called the Monuments by Moonlight Tour. So it's basically a guided motor coach tour at night that brings you around to those beautiful monuments. Uh, so it's definitely a different experience than during the day because you get to see them lit up at night. Um, it's also a little less crowded. So again, this is one of our most popular tours that people do call in uh, all the time asking for. So that is the Grand Rail Experience, 14 days all together. A lot of people also call us asking, they want to do coast to coast trips. They want to start in one side of the country and go to the next. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would suggest the Great American Majestic Landscapes Package. So this starts on the East Coast, two nights there in uh, New York. You'll hop on the train with an overnight train to go to Chicago. Spend two nights there in Chicago before hopping on the train for another overnight to go to Denver. After that, you'll get on a, another overnight to go to San Francisco with two nights there. In Chicago, you'll have that multi-day hop on, hop off tour. 
and it does include the, the Chicago City Pass. So that City Pass allows its prepaid admission to a few different locations, for example, the Shedd Aquarium, the Sky Deck Chicago, the Field Museum, Museum of Science. Science. Uh, and what's cool is that hop on hop off tour brings you those to those locations. So you don't have to worry about getting a taxi. Literally just hop on that bus, get off at the aquarium, hop back on, get off at Sky Deck. Um, so definitely very easy for you and your family. You also will be seeing the Rocky Mountain National Park tour there in Denver. And while in San Francisco, you have the opportunity to take that sightseeing tour of Napa for all those wine lovers out there. And that is the Great American Majestic Landscapes. So that's 12 days all together, three nights on the train, and eight nights at hotels. So for all those destinations that you saw, we um, have definitely a bunch of different hotel options for you. We have everything from three to five star hotels. So to keep in mind, anything that you are looking for, we have. We have those modern properties, those luxurious ones, or something a little bit more historic and boutique-y. So just because you don't see it on our website, just give us a call and we can find the best fit for you. So now that you pick the vacation package you want to go on, you can start thinking about packing for the train. So packing for the train is one, one of my most favorite things to talk about because it's awesome. First off, each passenger that's traveling gets two free carry-on bags, that's 25 pounds and under, and two free check bags, 50 pounds and under. So be, one person can bring four bags on the train. Also, all sides liquids are, are allowed to go on, so you can bring those big bottles of shampoo or lotions or perfumes. And you can bring any food or drinks that you want on the train. So literally anything that you want to bring on vacation, you can. There's no restrictions and they're free of charge. Um, definitely different than a plane because you, you can't do any of that. Also, you don't need to rush to check in for the train. You just have to be there on 45 minutes to an hour ahead of time. So planes, you have to get go around two to three hours. None of that. You literally just go to the train station close to your departure, just check in, walk right on the train, nice and easy, no hassle there. All right, so now that we went on over all of that, we could start talking about the onboard accommodations on Amtrak. So while you're on the train, you have three different accommodations to choose from. And the first accommodations is the coach seats. So the coach seats is a nice, big, comfortable sofa type seat that does recline 45 degrees back. There's tons of leg room and arm room there for you. Uh, you do see this some outlets that uh, you'll store your luggage up above or below the seat. And just because you have those coach seats, or this goes for even all the sleeper accommodations actually, you have the freedom to get out, around, out of your seat and move around. So you can go to the observation dome right there um, on the top right hand corner, or you can go to the lounge car, the dining car. So you don't have, you're not stuck in a seat the whole time. You can walk around, enjoy the scenery, talk to people. Um, so this is our most popular type of sleeper accommodation, and this is the Remet accommodation. So here you see this lady sitting in this this one seat. Um, basically, where this picture is taking is another seat, so it's two seats facing each other during the day, and at night turns down to an upper and a lower berth. And you can see on that bottom left-hand corner that diagram of the upper and a lower berth. Um, the bathroom is shared just down the hall. Um, it's only shared with the people who have remit accommodations on in your train car. So it's not the whole train population. It's not all the people who have remit. It's only the few rooms um, in that train car and all your meals are included while you're on the train so breakfast lunch and dinner where you have that remet is included the next step up from there is a bedroom accommodation um, so the bedroom accommodation is the biggest room that we have to offer so basically where that woman is sitting um, it's a sofa type seating 
uh, bench there and then one seat on the other side. During the day, that's how what the setup looks like. And at night, it does turn into an, an upper and a lower berth. The bottom berth is a little bit bigger, so two people could fit on it. Um, in the bathroom, it's also in the room with you guys. So you have a private toilet, sink, and shower. So if you if that's something important to you, then definitely the bedroom is a way to go. Um, also, your meals are included. And again, like I said before, for both the bedroom and the room at accommodation, you don't have to stay in your room the whole time. You can go, again, to the observation dome, the dining car, the lounge car. So just kind of wander around the train and enjoy your day. So talking about the different types of train cars, uh, let's talk about the dining on the train. So dining on the train is one of the great experiences of Amtrak. Um, all the food is made to order. So with that, they have all different types of options. So you could start off with a salad. Um, they have great meals for dinner. Like I had the steak and seafood combination, which was a steak and a, um, a crab cake, which was phenomenal. Um, they also have chicken, they have pasta, they have a fish dish. For lunch, they have burgers, salads, pastas. Um, they also have breakfast, everything, continental breakfast if you'd like that, or they have pancakes and eggs. Again, everything is made to order and it's a restaurant type seating. Definitely an experience while you're in the train, so I do suggest uh, checking that out. Um, and again, with the roomette and the bedroom accommodations, your meals are included. All right, so now that we're finishing up here, um, we have a ton of different other packages and destinations that I did not talk about today. So if you go to AmtrakVacations.com and you click that Destinations tab right there, it will show you every location that we have to offer. You just click on that whatever location you're interested in and you can see the vacation packages. Again, if you don't see a location on our website that you're interested in, just give us or your tra local travel agent a call and we can definitely hook that up for you. Also check out the blog section of our website. There you'll see recent posts or other past webinars. So if you enjoyed this one and want to listen to past ones, you can go to that blog section. Lastly, check out that trip planning tab. Because with that trip planning tab, it, it does, it's basically the questions, little questions that you have. Um, so anything with baggage, meals and dining, so layouts of cars, and a lot more information there. If, again, if you don't see any questions, uh, information that you have questions on, give us a call and we can ask, answer those for you. So something very excited to talk about that we have some big specials on our website here. So we do have some sales running. We have some uh, save $100 off per booking um, on a round trip vacation. We have a sale on Seattle Glacier National Park, which is one of our most popular part packages. Uh, we also have a sale in Yosemite, New Orleans. The Grand Real Experience, that package that I talked about earlier. So there's a bunch of different other ones on there. So if you go to AmtrakVacations.com and you go to Special Offers, definitely check out those. So how to book. So definitely easy to book us. Give us a call at 1-800-268-7252. Um, you could talk to one of our vacation consultants like myself uh, with any questions or concerns, want to book a package, want to make an itinerary, we're there to help you. So give us a call. Also, look at our website at AmtrakVacations.com to book. Or if you want to go to a local travel agent, uh, we work with tons of different local travel agents. Um, so just give us a call and we all can help you plan your great vacation. We do have some everyday discounts for you. So other than those special promotions that we're running, uh, we have these special um, discounts. So first we have children. So any children ages two to 12 that are traveling on one of our vacation packages will receive 50% off of that train rail portion of the trip. Seniors, so 
travelers over the age of 65, well, 65 and older, you will receive 10% off the rail portion of your Amtrak vacations. Also for military, any active military and their spouse and dependents will receive 10% off the rail portion of their Amtrak vacation trip. And something very exciting to talk about, we do offer veterans discounts. So Amtrak, uh, it has something new that it's 10% off of any veterans uh, rail portion of the trip as well. So these can be combined with those special offers that you see on those page that I just talked about. Before we finish up, don't forget to download the, the handout on the panel to the side. Also, if you have any questions, type it into that box. So we'll be answering some questions shortly. So before I answer your questions, I have one question for all of you. Uh, and that question is, what rail vacation destinations are you interested in and when do you want to go to those? Oh, I have people that want to go to Yellowstone National Park. Great choice. I see a lot of New York cities in the Christmas time. Those are very popular. A lot of people have been calling for those today. Let's see, Glacier National Park. Let me tell you, Glacier National Park is 80% booked for next year. So definitely give us a call today because that's one of our most popular national parks. Uh, Yosemite is very popular there from... Uh, you can definitely go from LA up to San Francisco and, and have a, a tour out to Yosemite. Uh, New York, oh, just again, New York, uh, New Orleans. New Orleans is very popular, especially the Mardi Gras time. So that March time of getting booked up. Um, National Parks Discovery, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Get Carso's National Parks off that list. Let's see here. All right, before I answer some questions, I have a special promotion for all of you today listening to this webinar. So everyone who is attending will receive $100 off your next booking. So this can be combined with our vacation packages. Uh, some rules are you need to spend two nights at a hotel with a sightseeing tour and the rail. So very interesting with this, $100 off, and this offer ends November 20th. So give us a call today, and we can definitely set something up for you. You'll be able to use this promotion and any other special promotions we have running as well. Now, before we finish up here today, let's answer some questions. Um, so if you have any questions here, put them in that box, and I'm going to go over them right now. And I'll try to get to them all. All right, I see what is the best direction to travel to the Empire Builder if you want to go to see Glacier National Park. Um, a lot of people go from Chicago west to Seattle. So they'll go from Chicago and then stop in Glacier National Park that way. Um, you also can go from Seattle. Um, it's a little bit qu quicker a ride. So if you want something more scenic and longer, I would suggest Chicago going west. I mean, see a lot of different food options. Uh, there, they did remove the uh, dining car on the trains east coast, but that doesn't mean you don't your meals aren't included. They're tray option food, so they're still um, made to order tray option food. They still have that steak, chicken, pasta. It's just you can go to a lounge car with those on your seats in your room. They're still dining on that car. It's just. A different type of experience because those are little little small trips but everything out west on those overnight trains are still going to have that dining car so i see how are the tours organized where people are staying at so many different hotels usually there's a meeting spot so if you have a tour um, of a city you'll have to go to the meeting spot where that tour starts from. Um, and all that information will be on the vouchers that we hand out to you um, or mail to you um, before. Some tours we have do pick up from the hotels and whatnot. Um, again, it just depends on where, where you're traveling to. 
um, but most of them I would say you, there's a meeting spot. Um, a rail vacation is good for pregnant women. Yeah, definitely. Um, I maybe won't suggest doing something too long, but it's definitely an alternative to flying um, because you are on land. You're not going up in, up in the sky. So um, you could do that. So I see people asking about free time on our vacation packages. So it does look like there's a lot of stuff going on in our vacation packages, but you have to remember that these are independent journeys. So there is no tour guide the whole entire way. So other outside of those little tours that you have or um, you're on your own. So those tours can last from two hours up to a, day, a whole day, eight hours. So depending on where you want to go, um, you basically have the free time around that tour and you pick what you want to do. It's your vacation. It's not a group guided tour. Let's see here. How do we get to the train to the hotel and vice versa? That's a great question. Um, our hotels are right downtown. It's very centrally located. Um, Right outside of every Amtrak station, there's taxis lined up, or you can take an Uber, and that's what we would suggest. You would have to take a, a taxi or something along those lines over to your hotel. And again, at most, it's two miles away. They're very centrally located, so one to two miles. But all the all the um, places that we have vacation packages on uh, is major cities, and those major cities know when that train's pulling up, so their taxis are sitting there waiting. Like when I went to Salt Lake City, we literally walked right outside, and there was about 20 taxis lined up. We got into the taxi, and right to the hotel was in less than five minutes. Um, a lot of questions about single supplement traveling on Amtrak. We do have single supplement. A lot of people travel like this. Um, the prices you see online are based on double occupancy. Um, so if you are looking to travel solo, just give us a call and we'll customize that to give you the correct price. Um, you're not going to charge any extra. It's basically instead of splitting the cost with someone, the cost is on, on you. So there's no additional cost for traveling solo. Um, but again, if, if you want more of a direct price, give us a call and we can set that up for you. Um, the prices that you see online are starting from prices also. So the prices do include hotels, trains, and tours. Good question. Do you offer any vegan meals? We do. So on the train, they customize for you. So if vegan meals, um, kosher, any allergies, gluten allergies, it's like a restaurant. So you'll let us know when you're booking your trip and we'll put it in our memos and they'll know ahead of time for you. We can accommodate any anyone and everyone. Um, so let's see, so some of the pricing um, on our website, they're asking, someone is asking, does that price include the sleeper accommodation? So the red roomette or the bedroom? The answer is no. So any pricing that you see on our website is based on coach accommodation. So that's the seats. If you want to upgrade, definitely upgrade. Most people do. Um, it's just everything is live pricing. So if you want to take one of our trips in our bedroom accommodation, give us a call and we can get that price for you. And is there like a price guide or is there a certain amount per sleeping accommodation and coach seat? And the answer is no, because again, everything is live pricing. It's based on availability. So if one day is more popular than the next, then the price is going to fluctuate. I mean, they literally change all the time. So I could be on the phone with someone, uh, they'll hang up, they say oh, they'll call back in an hour and the price may increase. Um, so it's basically once you figure out when you want to travel, give us a call and we'll set we'll give you that price. Great question. How far in advance can you make reservations? And the answer is um, about 
over a year in advance. So for if you're doing train only, which we don't typically do, it's around 11 months out, but we can do almost two years in advance. And let me tell you that people are already booking for 2021, um, especially those big national park packages. Like, like I said, Glacier National Park is almost booked for next year. So as soon as you know the date, um, you'll give us a call. And also that's when you get the best rate is if you book the further out in, in, oh, in advance. Can you eat your meals in your room at? And the answer is yes. If you don't want to go to the dining car, your room attendant will bring you your meals. So when you get in your dining car, when you, I'm sorry, when you get in your sleeping accommodation, someone will come around and ask you when you want to eat your dinner and all that. You just tell them that you want it brought to your room and that's no issue. They'll go ahead and do that for you. can use Amtrak rewards points. So I get called all the time about this and the answer is no, um, because we're not Amtrak, we can't use their points, but you can earn points traveling with us. So if you have a trip and you have your rewards number, just give it to us, we'll add it onto your ticket and definitely earn points while traveling. And is Wi-Fi available? Great question there. The, it's usually a no. So any trips traveling out west um, on those overnight trains, there is no Wi-Fi. Um, mostly Wi-Fi is on the little regional trains like from Boston to New York, uh, Washington DC to New York, like those little regional trains. But for these packages that I'm going over today, uh, definitely no, no Wi-Fi. So it's all the time that we have today. If I didn't get a chance to answer your questions, please call the number on their screen, that 1-800-268-7252, or call your local travel agent, and we can definitely help you book your va next vacation. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye-bye.